In today's video, I'm joined by ITC. And we're going to be talking about some of the big Kaiser products. Let's start with the milling products, if we may. So today we're showcasing the big Kaiser HMC chucks, which are our high power milling chucks. Um, obviously, the first thing to talk about with big Kaiser is they are face and taper, which the dual contact enables, you know, sort of up to four times D. You're looking at a 10 micron run out. We have various different length holders. Um, which you can sleeve or they can be sort of a straight shank so that it fits straight in. Um, different collets are available. So for through coolant tools, for drilling long drills or long series end mills, if you have through coolant. Um, the be main benefit obviously being the dual contact is Big Kaiser are the only people who manufacture the gauge, which the face and taper spindles are made to. Now, enabling us to make that sort of or big kaiser to make that ensures that their tools that they make are even closer to the spindle so it's the one and only true face and taper contact okay if, if we stay on these tool orders for a while what what's it what's the advantage of having it seems an obvious question but a high performance um, uh, um milling chuck against some of the other methods in the market so if we look at your standard collet chucks obviously you're clamping down a tapered collet into a tapered holder which provides a decent amount of um, pressure holding on at all. But the way that these holders work is when you, when you tighten up the holders, they deform around the shank of the tool, which prevents pull out. Doesn't completely get rid of it, but it's a lot better than your standard form of tool holding. Okay, so great for um, roughing applications as a minimum, really. No, no reason you can't use it for finishing, but if you're doing some heavy roughing, you should have a performance holder. Very much so. So whilst we're talking about the milling chucks, how does the range look? Does it get much bigger, much smaller? So we, um, we have clamping ranges from 32 mil all the way down to sleeving down to sort of three mil. Um, they have various ranges in length of tool holders. Um, predominantly used for roughing. Uh, we have the collets for both through coolant and axial coolant, um, which allow, you know, sort of to aid swarf removal. There's the main benefit of these holders is firstly the dual contact, the face and taper. And big guys are specialised in this by they make the gauges which the face and taper spindles are checked to. So we truly do supply the you know the most accurate face and taper tooling um we have sort of our most prolifically bought tool holder i would say which is a 20 mil diameter these sleeve all the way down to three mil um, and alongside we have a 12 mil which being slightly smaller um, and using a smaller tool it allows it's, it's designed for sort of trachoidal roughing for longer five times d um, cutters which you need that real um, compression on the tool so that There's it doesn't a lot of pull out. There's a lot of forces on the flute yes. isn't it with that, that, in, that length of and engagement. And this, this style of holder really does help prevent pull out on your tool which obviously you just don't want to be scrapping billets. Sure if we move on to the tapping holders um, before we get into any detail what are they what is a tapping holder? So a tapping holder is basically designed to help reduce the cutting or the forces applied on the tap um, when doing a tap in rigid cycle really. And why are they important against some of the other methods? So when when using just a normal collet some for example on an M6 you can apply sort of 60 pounds of pressure when the tap hits the bottom and starts reversing you can apply 60 pounds of pressure to that tap which is typically where they break and they'll snap off right where the tap starts to taper. With these tapping holders, because there's a little bit of give in the actual movement, it reduces this force by up to 90%. So it prolongs your tool life. And because there's a, a synchronization error during rigid tapping, that might be the tolerance that the tap's made to. And as the machine gets older, nothing's perfect. This allows the tap to pick up the thread that was cut on the way down. So you're not recutting the back of a thread. Your tap's going to last longer and you're going to get a much better quality hole. 
Yeah, because there's no nothing's made to zero tolerance, is it? So no. even a brand new machine, there's some sort of error in that, isn't there? Of course, and you really do notice this more in your harder to machine materials. Mm -hmm. Aluminium, you can sort of get away with anything really, but when you start talking about steels and ink and nails, this really is something that is worthwhile in, in mm -hmm. investing in. And for the people who are unfamiliar with these products, maybe you can just talk us through, uh, yeah, talk us through them. So. This is the tapping extension holder. They're available in multiple different lengths. They're also available in a back end form. So this is pr probably the more universal type, which you can put in it sort of any, if you've got a whistle, whistle notch holder or it can go in a collet system. This is then the tapping extension, which it's got a drive at the back, which it's sort of one, one tap and extension for one type. It's not a collet, which is better accuracy. There's, there's a O-ring or not an O-ring, a bush, which is quite flexible, which is where the, the forces that are applied is mm -hmm. absorbed. It's like a shock absorber, essentially, which sort of, you know, makes them as good as they mm -hmm. are. I guess a smaller diameter, um, they're probably more imperative, aren't they? Because obviously they're going to break easier. They're going to be a lot weaker. So as I said, you know, sort of a ballpark of 90% up to 90% reduced forces mm -hmm. can really increase your tool life. So just before we go, you know, your sales pitch, well, what would you say to engineers that are currently using other methods? Maybe an ER collet, maybe, maybe something different? It's a very, it's a very difficult one to sell, to be honest, because you don't know you need it until you've tried it. So if you're, if you've got a large production, uh, you know, a large batch of components produ during production and you, you're tapping, you know, we're more than happy to come. We'll come over, we'll demo it and we'll show you that you can get one tap, you know, to do a, an awful lot more holes and a better quality hole. If there's any tapping issues, you know, we supply various ranges, roll taps, spiral flute taps, cutting taps, through coolant on everything. Um, we're, you know, we're here to help solve any threading solutions or any threading problems rather. There we are, you've heard it from ITC. If you're looking to produce a thread, in this particular occasion, tap in, why not give them a shout?